Hello and welcome to English 111 Online, Fall Semester 2018, Shaw University. I'm your instructor, Jason Morgan. Welcome to class. Class will, for this class, will start on August 20th. Yes, so there was, uh, there was a whole bunch of classes that we had to add because of students that we didn't expect here at Shaw. And so we didn't quite get a professor assigned to this class until a little late, so it wasn't wasn't up and running. So we're starting on the 20th. So everything that is before that time, don't worry about it. If you missed it, it's all good. We're picking up right here. So this video is showing you how we are going to do this class, how it basically operates. Each Moodle class is done a little differently from each professor. Okay, but it is what it is. So, so let's talk about the basic layout of this Moodle class. So we, um, the way that I handle it is everything is broken down by week. So as we scroll down, actually scroll down over here, woo, when we go down, everything is set up for the whole entire semester, what we're doing week by week and all the assignments and stuff like that. That can be very intimidating, okay? But as we're help, it's kind of very helpful. So let's say we're get to be the middle of September. You could just click on, oh, let's say it's September 24th. You click on September 24th over here, and boom, it takes you right to where you need to be. Oh, see how that works? The top of the page here is where we're going to kind of focus on here at first. Oh, by the way, this little sidebar over here, if you want to make it disappear, you click on this thing. It goes whoop and it goes away. If you want to have it come back, you click on here again, whoop, and it comes back. It doesn't really make that noise, whoop, but you get the idea. Anyway, so for this class, the announcement sections are basically where I need to send out information. So, for example, already I kind of set out, hey, you know, where is my English class? And it's going to start on the 20th. So I've already sent out a couple of announcements. These announcements will also be sent to your Shaw email account. So when I send an announcement, it'll also go to your Shaw email, so you should check your email on a regular basis. Okay, that's the announcement section. Um, attendance, you know, like attendance, this is an online class. Basically, you are counted, counted as being attending a class as long as you submit something every single week. And every single week, we have something due. So as long as you submit an assignment, it's not just enough to log in. You have to have to submit at least one assignment per week to be considered here. And attendance is worth 10% of your grade. Okay, before you even watch this video, you should have watched Taking an Online Class, Watch Me First. So if you have not watched Taking an Online Class, Watch Me First, stop. Stop this video and go watch this one first. You need to do that one first. This one is how to navigate the class. Our textbook for this class is something called Odigia. Odigia, kind of a weird word, hard to pronounce, Odigia. It's a digital textbook. You've already paid for this. When you signed up for the class, it was already part of the fees that you did. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you access Odigia. So you just click on the link. Now the first time, do, 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 then you have to click over here to open up a new window. I don't know why it does that. Now, you will just see English 111. Okay, it may ask you to say what course are you in, and this is English 111, section 801, but eventually you'll see just the English course, okay? And again, I see everything because I'm the professor, and I see lots of different things, but it's just English 111. And then when you hit open course, basically this is the way the class works, is that we have broken down into chapters, and I will tell you on any particular week which chapter you need to read, okay? And we'll walk you through the... I just wanted to let you see how you got to Odigia. This is the textbook. You've already got it. You're like, well, there's not much to read. Well, yeah, if you click here, then you can see. And you click there, and then that gives you your readings. That's how we work it out. Digital, yeah, the future. Woo, and I saved a lot of money by doing that. So let's go back to our class. So that's our textbook. You've already paid for it, and that's how you access it. Okay, and if you're not sure, I've even created another video on how to access and use Odigia right there. Yeah. A couple other things on the top part of this page are the resources. So under resources, there is a bunch of videos, okay, that you can get to. Now, one thing that uh, I need to note is that all files that you submit for this class need to be submitted as a doc or a docx file. Doc or a docx file. That means it is a Microsoft Word file. You need to submit it that way. If you are using a Mac, Okay, you can still save it as a doc or a docx file. If you're using Google Docs, you still can still save it as a doc or a docx file. If you're using OpenOffice, you can still use it as a doc file. Okay, I need you to submit the correct kind of file because 
I need to be able to open up your files and read them and grade them. So that is the standard that we're using for this class, Docker Docx. If you are using Microsoft Word, then you're good to go. You just don't have to do anything else. Okay, if you're trying to write papers on your phone, boo! No, you don't write papers on your phone. Just saying. Phones are not designed to write research papers or academic papers. You need to be using a computer. There's that. Okay, let's go back to this. So that's under resources. What else we got up here? Da, 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 da. And we will be learning MLA formatting. So at the top, I have an example of MLA formatting. We will get to that later on. Please note that even though this is an online class, you get free tutoring help. What? Yes. Even during the summer and for online classes, Shaw's Writing Center can help you with your papers. Yeah, well, yeah, okay. To set an appointment, as well as to find out the best way they can help you, you can call that number. So if you are a student who happens to be taking this class online, but you're actually taking other classes on campus, the, you can go to the Writing Center, which is found in the TOS building, the Learning TOS building on the second floor. If you are out of state or whatever, you can call this number right there and say, hey, I am taking English 111 from Professor Morgan, and I understand there's uh, ways that you guys can help me. And they will work it out with you. Okay. So that's just the top part. Okay. And again, this is going to be how I navigate stuff. So how do we do this on a day-to-day -day or a week-to-week -week basis? Well, again, everything is broken down by weeks. So when we look at next week, well, actually this week is your accident. Does, we're going to go to August 20th. So this will show you at the top what to do and kind of what is due. And it shows when. Okay. And each week I create a video that walks you through step by step of what we're doing for that week. It explains the assignments. It explains how to submit things. It shows you as a video um, step by step on what we're doing. So if you're like, oh, this looks really confusing. I found that these weekly videos, watch those first to explain, again, I explain step by step of what we're going to be doing. Okay, so every week you go to, you'll see these things, and you're like, why is there a QQQ after that? Because this is the beginning of the semester, and I, because I create these videos, um, especially just for this class, that QQQ means I haven't created it yet. Okay, but by the time you get to those weeks, you'll see those QQQs will disappear, and that means that I have completed that. So, um, so that's basically the, the gist of how we're doing this. Oh, I should probably show you something else. Um, your grades, um, if you click over here, on grades, da, 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 da. this will show you your grades. So attendance is worth 10%, class and homework, classwork and homework, and classwork, yeah. Um, worth 25% of your grade. Let's see, you have three major writing assignments, one, two, and three. And then this publication assignment is just basically a course portfolio. If you took English 110 at Shaw University, we did this in English 110. Uh, these are the classes that I taught, and most classes did it. So it's basically the same thing. So don't worry about that. It, doesn't, it seems pretty intimidating, but it's going to be just fine. Because again, I walk you through it step by step. So that's basically it, with one exception. Okay? And I'm going to kind of say it in this video, but I'll also explain it in the next video. It is a Shaw rule starting fall 2018, which is what you're right here, that before you are allowed to take this class, you have to take Moodle orientation required Moodle orientation. You have to complete this before taking any online class at Shaw. Okay? You have to do this before you do anything else. Any other assignments, you have to do this. So, um, and I will explain how to do that in the August 20th video. So just give me a heads up. So that's it for English 111, how it kind of is set up. Um, again, uh, the way that I set it up is that the we're for almost across the board, the deadlines are Sunday nights by 11.55 p.m. And um, so you, you log in on Monday, you kind of see what you're doing, and you have a full week up until Sunday to kind of finish up what's due. If for the bigger assignments like papers, sometimes I'll give you a couple of weeks, whatever. Okay. So that's it for this week. Not this week, for this introduction video. And so now, once you're done with this, you can play around with this and then go down to here to... August 20th, and watch this video, August 20th, right there, to see what we're doing for that week. All right, well, welcome to the class, and let's have a great semester.